is. He says he's a, he's a procrastinator, so he's very good at doing what he has to do, and he's not that good at doing things that he doesn't have to do. He puts those off. He wants to know how does he get, how does one get to make God a priority among the things that he has to have to do, like pay your bills, as you know, he doesn't think God is like eating ice cream. He says that there's a middle ground, the things you have to do and the things you really enjoy. He says, right now, for many people, God is someplace in between. How do we move God up to the, to the level of paying the bills before a foreclosure? Well, we just have to think about what God has to do with our life. We say, King David says, the last words of, last words of Psalms. Comes from the of cup. All the Shama, every soul should praise Hashem. Because I'll say in the Shama Nishima, the word of referring to breath. Every breath that we take, we have to thank Hashem. Because He gives every breath that we take. Every heartbeat that we have, Hashem's making our heartbeat. So we have to give top priority. There's nothing that we can, can, can do, nothing that we can think, and nothing we can uh, live for one minute without Hashem giving us life. Make a heartbeat, the heart doesn't beat by itself. Hashem is giving us the power to heartbeat. Can't breathe by Hashem is giving us the power to breathe. The person will stop breathing and die right away. So, of course, if, if God's the one giving us the, 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 uh, the food that we eat and, uh, and, and the house that we live in, everything is God. He's in, like, like the streets of Shem, like this, King David says, I put Hashem in front of me all the time. Hashem's in front of me all the time. He's there for me. He's giving me everything that I have. So how can you not give him top priority? He's, 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 everything that we have is coming from Hashem. And, and if you do the right thing, he loves us. He loves us no matter what. And, and he takes care of us and he gives us children and he gives us everything that we have and he gives us eternity, eternal life. Jews have eternal life. Non-Jews can have eternal life if people act the right way. They live eternally. If the non-Jews keep the seven Noahite laws, they get eternity. They have a neshama, they have a soul. So Hashem is giving us everything. He's in this world and the world to come. And so how can we not like, prioritize and say, Hashem, you're part of my life. I can't forget about you. You're there for me. Who can I call?